everyone, so today we are going to be discussing Nod by Adrian Barnes. Disclaimer before I start the video, this book was sent to me by Titan Books. So yes, I was sent this book for free, but it was in exchange for an honest review and all thoughts and opinions that I'm going to say in this video are completely 100% true and accurate and not bias in any way. I read the book, got opinions about the book, and now I'm going to talk about that book with you. This review is also going to be non-spoilery, so if you haven't read the book, you don't need to worry about me ruining any of it for you. I just want to talk about the things that I liked and why I think that you guys should read it. Before I read this book, I hadn't read any of Adrian Barnes's other work. I don't think that he's done much else, but there are a couple of things that he has done and a couple of works that are out there, but this book definitely made me want to read more. This book is about a man called Paul who lives with his girlfriend Tanya and they live just a pretty good ordinary normal life in Vancouver and then one day Paul wakes up and Tanya says that she couldn't get to sleep last night and she had a really bad night she couldn't sleep at all she goes to work comes back and finds out that almost everyone that she was at work with also couldn't sleep and then when they turn on the news and they see what's going on barely anyone anywhere couldn't go to sleep. There's a select handful of people who can and they're sort of frowned upon and considered the weird ones. They end up being called demons and stuff, the people that can sleep. But basically this whole sleeplessness situation has broken out all over and obviously sleep deprivation makes you go mad and then eventually it kills you. You have to sleep. It's very important. So everyone's trying to figure out what the hell they're going to do. They're all going absolutely mad and panicking, trying to figure out what they need to get, what they're going to do, how long this is going to last, how they can try and stop it. And chaos breaks out and lots of things happen. Obviously I don't want to spoil it, but it gets pretty intense and you just see how people are going to act in those situations and when someone is basically given and shown that the fact that they know that in a couple of days they're going to start to lose their mind and in a couple of weeks they're going to die, you see how that takes its effect on people and how people act in those situations and how they're going to go and deal with that and some people aren't going to deal with that in the best way if there is a best way, there probably isn't a good way to deal with any of that. 100% this book is one of the most original books that I have read in such a long time. I've never read anything like it. I thought it was so creative. It takes something that is so normal and so such a massive part of our life, sleep, we all do it, we all have to do it, and removes it, and it's this idea of what would happen if we didn't have it anymore, and it makes you think about lots of things, think about how you would act in those situations, how the world would act, what would change, and honestly, it was so, so good. I wasn't like a massive fan of the main character, Paul, like his kind of attitude towards things weren't exactly great. He has Tanya, who can't sleep, so he's watching her break down and watching their whole relationship and their whole dynamic and he can sleep and you see how their relationship starts to fall apart because she's uh, upset and angry and jealous that he can sleep and that he's gonna be okay or as okay as he can be. Obviously he's trying to make make her feel like everything's gonna be okay and he can't because she knows that it's not if they can't find out what's happening and if they can't stop it. The writing was absolutely fantastic. I was so drawn in. You could feel the tension between Paul and Tanya, you could feel the way the other characters were reacting. Like, there were a couple of situations and it felt like I was in them and I was experiencing them and I could feel what they were feeling and what these characters were feeling. It was so descriptive and imaginative. I just felt like I was there and I felt the panic and the fear and just everything that they were going through and it's been I feel like I get a lot of books that make me feel like that but it's been a long time since I felt it so strongly and I really felt like I was there too and I was experiencing it and I was thinking oh my god no, what are they going to do next like what's going to happen how are they going to do this and it was so intense and reading it felt really intense because you just didn't know what was going to happen and how it was going to all unfold and what was going to happen to these people. I was just like clinging on to every like I was like oh my god what's going to happen how are they going to do this how are they going to overcome this what's going to happen next and I just didn't know. Some of the ways that people react you think you could see that happening you could see society 
starting to act like that. I've been recommending this to so many people, like all of my friends have been saying, so what have you been reading recently? And I've been like, read it, read it, read it, read it now. It's really good. So I would definitely recommend it. This was one of the best books that I've read in a really long time. I gave it four out of five or five out of five stars on Goodreads because I thought that it was absolutely unique and fantastic and amazingly written and just you jump straight into it it's not I didn't feel like it was slow I felt like there was just enough of things and then it was action packed and I just felt like it really showed the desperation and the helplessness and how, what people were feeling and what they were going through if you'd like to get this book I will link it below and you can go and check it out and I will link to Titan Books webpage down below as well thank you to Titan Books for sending me this I love it so much so I was so glad to have a copy and read it. If you guys have read this book let me know what you thought down in the comments and we'll have a chat. As usual all of my links are in the description if you want to hang out on other social medias that is cool and if you're new and you like this video I make bookish videos a couple of times a week which if you would like to you can stick around and hang out with us and fangirl and do all of that together. Thank you guys for watching I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you next time goodbye!